to um, post a video about how I built a tennis ball pressurizer um, out of an old corny keg. Um, it cost me about $60 um, and it took about 10 minutes to build. So the corny keg is essentially a beer keg uh, that allows you to um, homebrew beer. Um, I got this one used at a local beer supply place for about $40. Uh, this one has a pin lock. Notice the pins on the, the connectors. Uh, that's what holds the connector on there. There's also a ball lock that looks more like a, how an air compressor uh, connector would work where you it's a and it's a little bit easier to to attach. Uh, I got the pin connector because these the pin kegs were about twenty dollars less. So again, this was just an experiment. But if I had to do it over again, I'd probably get the the ball locks. So anyway, um, this corny keg will probably hold about sixty balls. Um, and here's a ball. It you know fits pretty easily in there. Um, the only bad thing about it is, is when you fill it up, it's uh, you can pretty much you can only remove one ball at a time, and you can't just pour them out. So that's kind of the the painful part. Uh, but otherwise, it's pretty cheap and easy to to build. So how it works is, um, here we go. Uh, you put the balls in. You uh, put the cover in. Right. You lock it down. I'm trying to do this with uh, one hand here, so it's a little bit harder to do. And then, the only thing you actually have to build is you have to get this um, MFL con connector. They run about $6. Uh, you want a barbed connector on it. Um, and then you need a small piece of hose. Uh, the, the homebrew place sold these by the foot. They're really cheap. A buck, but you can get like a, a Home Depot. Um, you need two hose clamps. Small hose clamps. See? And then you need a some Schrader valve. What I did was I just used a, um, a uh, tire valve extender I got at the auto parts store. You can take a probably get a uh, old bicycle tube cut it off or you can get a, a air compressor valve um, again all it is is you just need the, the little Schrader connector so you can hook up a bicycle pump to it so that's pretty simple you just connect this right and then you pump it up with a bicycle pump um, and that's it um, airtight for as long as you need it to. Hope this helps.